Hello YouTubers. Right. Right. Um, Andy's still in hospital. Yeah. I had a phone call last night. It said he'd been thrown up. Yeah, it, it's a... It, what he's got is... It's a difficult thing. Um, he contracted C. difficile. Yeah. And if anybody knows what that is, it's... Um, the class is a superbug in, in the hospital. It's like sickness and diarrhoea. But it's contagious. So every time I go to see Andy, I have to wear a plastic penny or an apron or whatever and wash my hands before even going into the room. And if I touch anything in there, wash my hands straight after. And also before I even leave the ward, I wash my hands out because there's a sink just outside the room. Wash my hands before leaving the, the, the ward. Yeah. It's because the because what he has is contagious. Yeah. And they don't want it going around. But I've been hearing people having suffering from sickness and diarrhea. Yeah, yeah on Facebook friends of ours but I don't kick we, we don't contact don't keep in contact with them as in physical contact you know so we've got nothing to worry about yeah like I say he's um he's not well it, and it, it's a like I say um Crohn's disease is a difficult thing he's, he's seen many people over the, the spate of a couple of weeks, you know, because it will, it probably will be two, about two weeks has been in there, might even be over, you know, and um, I take food in for him, yeah, because um, Crohn's disease is a diff like I say, it's a difficult thing, it affects everybody. And every whoever has Crohn's disease, it affects, it affects them everybody differently. And um, everything that Andy's been eating is just coming out like water. But they can't um, distinguish whether it's the Crohn's or the cedar for sale. But he's getting treated for that as well. So he's, like I say, he was he was, he was sick, been sick. Because, uh, from what Andy's saying, they can't quite um, accommodate for people with Crohn's because they have to have a bland diet. And what that is, is from what the um, gastro nurse said, because we saw her yesterday, is a white diet. Yeah, a white diet. Um, white pasta, white rice, white, white fish. White chicken, obviously the chicken's white. Turkey, yeah, white. Everything white. Even you can have potatoes, you know. Um, I suggested bring doing him a soup and bringing him some soup in because I've been bringing him sandwiches in, and um, they said not to to hold off with the vegetables. I mean, everybody knows that you, you get. Uh, nutrition out of vegetables yeah so uh, like I say it's just a difficult thing to to deal with yeah difficult thing to deal with the, the now trying to suggest putting them on a liquid diet um, because, like I say, anything that, uh, anything white or anything, yeah, that he eats, yeah, goes through him, and it, it's not, his body's not absorbing anything. Like I said, um, when he's taking pills, they come now whole. Yeah, when I was cleaning them up, but. Um, uh, it, it's, a, like I say, it's just a difficult thing to deal with. 
it's quiet in the house without him. Yeah, it is. It's quiet. Um, all oh, last week, one day, um, I brought our house on. I got in the house. I, I broke down. You know, I just broke down. Yeah, I got his ashes. They're just on the cover over there. And um, yeah, I just broke down. Bring them home. I was hoping that Andy would get better, you know, so he could come home and see his ashes. And I'll I'll wait. I'll I will wait till um, next year now to scatter them because now the the weather start to turn. Believe it or not, we are actually getting snow. There's high places on higher ground, yeah. It's actually got a covering of snow. Um, where we live, right, we live in what we call a microclimate, yeah, and um, Dalton's in like a little valley, yeah, because we're in the, the, the Burr of Dalton, Hillworth Place, and um, right around us is all higher ground. So obviously, uh, everywhere else gets um, gets the snow, and yes, they're starting to get snow. There's snow in the the Cleveland Hills, yeah. The snow up in Cumbria and uh, Northumberland, yeah. So um, yeah, places around us are got snow. So. There you go. And out there, it's wet. Apparently we did have some snow for about an hour, but I don't see any traces of it whatsoever. Yeah. So it, it's getting cold out there, and yes, we're starting to get the snow. And the clocks haven't even gone back yet. They go back, um, well, it's Saturday, yeah, it's Saturday. And uh, they go back Sunday morning. So, yeah. So, yeah, we haven't even got the clocks, <laughs> haven't even gone back yet. We're getting the snow. Yeah. And that's another thing, it's going to be difficult. Like I say, I don't know how long Andy's going to be in hospital. And now it's the end of October. And next week it'll be November, and so it's uh, it's going to be a difficult thing for me. He can't. I, I dare say he couldn't even have a Christmas dinner if he if uh, if and when he comes home. I would normally, because I did it last year, right? Uh, bake a Christmas cake, and because I, I make I baked a Christmas cake. And I baked a couple of um, Christmas puddings last year, and I can't even, because of his diet, because of the Crohn's, I can't, uh, I haven't done it this year. And uh, I would have loved to, but it's too late to do uh, a pudding anyway, far too late, because he needs to be matured uh, for a few months. So it's too late to do that. The possibility, because he, he wouldn't even be able to eat, eat it. Even the cake, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to eat it. It's just... Just difficult. Yeah. Right. So they just more or less got back from a walk from with, with Sheba. Yeah, got back from a walk. Yeah, just on the river bank. I don't go very far with her. Here she is, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Top of the temple. Yeah. Right. She's just on the back of the, the tripod here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been getting her treats. I've been spoiling her. Yeah. She's got a hoof there. She's picked the hoof up and dropped it. Yeah. Haven't um, yeah. you? Where's your hoof? Go find. Yeah, your little whinge. Oh, what was that you eating? Huh? What's that you eating? Yeah, yeah, she's a, a spy little dog, aren't you? Yeah, look, she'd give me a hoof. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I was just having a look on Facebook there, you know. I mean, the computer goes into standby, so the, the monitor does. So, the one behind me here, yeah, this one here, the computer's not turned on, so... That's me old, me old computer. Yeah, that's a joint too. Yeah, that one there. Yeah. Just loosen that a bit. Oops, oh, it's loosened this a bit. Okay. Just getting, trying to get used to this uh, tripod. See, that's the other one. It's gone at standby. Now, these, right, these are all computers, especially that one there. This one here. An old computer. That's a new one. Yeah, that's a new one. Now the blue one, right, I actually give it a name. Um, it's been updated many times, but it's on XP now, so we don't want to change it. So, like I say, I haven't got turned on at the minute, but um, I call it Colin. <laughs> no insult to anybody called Colin. There's a reason why I call it Colin, because when we first got it, because it was on Windows 98, yeah, it used to turn itself off and turn itself back on, yeah. And the, run, the, the way we used to keep the thing run and keep the thing on is if we were running a program, yeah? Say, I'd win, Winamp on it, you know, an old uh, media player. So we would have that running, right, in order to keep the thing on because we'd called it Compromise and Colin. And, um, like I say, it got... Um, 98 taken off and then XP put on and then they sorted the problem out so it works alright but the name stuck you see Colin and um, we haven't given you the other one the name because it's got nothing because believe it or not computers have a character right so that one hasn't got a character at the minute but, uh, yeah, like I say, that uh, HP is a new thing. You know, it, it's been ages since we bought anything and it's brand new, so um, yeah, it's got Windows 10 on it. And you're looking at it and thinking, my god, how the hell did this work? But it's actually quite simple. I found Windows 10 works quite easy. Um thing is Andy got yourself um a phone, right? A Nokia. And every anybody that has Nokia's will know what I'm talking about. Is it the Lo is it the Lumi or whatever it's called or whatever it is, yeah? And Andy hadn't a clue how to work that. And that's got Windows ten on it, hasn't it? So uh, he messed it up and sent it back. <laughs> but, uh, never mind. Now oh, Andy's got a bloody, um, a Samsung Galaxy G5, I think it is. It's good, because it, it's good when you're texting with it. Because it, it's sort of, 
if anybody has got one of them, yeah, it sort of put, it, it starts a predictive text where it it completes a sentence for you. <laughs> and I was like amazed at that. I'm like, bloody hell, you <laughs> does it come um, it completes a sentence for you? <laughs> but I haven't clue how you work it. Yeah, that's Andy's phone. Me, I don't have any phones at all, and I'm not bothered. Yeah. I've had, uh, I've got my old phone there, um, but I'm not bothered about it. Yeah, I'm not bothered. Andy keeps saying to me, you need to get, get another phone, but I don't use mobile phones. To me, mobile phone is just, a, in, it's just, oh, I just don't like them anyway, so. Right, I am going to have to go, yep. And I'll speak soon and toodaloo for now.